presents of the Zazumian basis. The next show that's on my Toon Disney list is honestly a great Disney cartoon classic. And no, I'm not talking about Mickey Mouse. I'm talking about Kim Possible. Kim fucking Possible. I think, in my opinion, one of the best top five animated uh, Disney sh cartoons to ever come out in the 2000s. Why? Because Phineas and Ferb ain't nowhere up in my top five. Because mm, Phineas and Ferb make me want to mm, kill them, all the creators. It's not even funny. It's like all the rest of the garbage on there. So basically, Kim Possible is about a girl who fights enemies. Of course, Shigo and um, Dr. Draken, I believe. It's been a while since I've seen it. And of course, her best friend, Ron, and you gotta love Rufus. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love Rufus? So basically, um, Kim, Ron, and Rufus basically fight villains, along with their friend, Wade, who basically sits at a computer and tells her everything through a little communicator. I think it's called Communicator. I don't remember, but... Um, <laughs> but yeah um, so basically the series ran for a while been fighting and everything and romance happened started going higher and higher with Ron and Kim and of course the very last episode they kissed graduated done or so they thought it actually got cancelled how well, let's see here. Kim Possible was canceled because the directors of the show stopped working for Disney. How in the hell? Another channel could have probably took took up Kim Possible, but seriously, a show that high, I mean, it's great ratings, the director stopped working on it and stopped working for Disney. When honestly, they could have moved to another place. I don't get it. It's ridiculous. They stopped working. <sighs> no, I did not fart. That was my chair. Um, anyways. Um. <clears throat> so basically, what happened to this show came back and how would it keep going? If the show did come back, I could probably see maybe new Disney, if they don't fuck it up, maybe Disney, they could go back to its old roots, basically. Instead of sitting there just honestly turning into the filth they have today. Now, the show ran for four seasons, and of course, the graduation, they're now dating. Let's do a fun thing right here. Let's do something fun. What would happen if Kim and Ron's relationship basically gets in the way of their work? How would it affect their relationship? I know they work with the same team, but what happens if they wanted to date and all that stuff? I want to get the dates done, but... You have all of these villains pretty much still going at it. And then you have, of course, them going to college. How would it affect their college life? I mean, what happens if they have kids? What happens if their kids take over? Or what happens if they're starting a family, their kids are young, and they're still trying to cope with their family, but still, all the enemies are still doing the same. You know, those are some things that they could do. And of course, I don't know if their parents found out. It's been a while since I've seen it. But if they did find out, oh, good for them. But if they didn't, you know, what happened if they did find out? And, you know... What happens if her little brothers join in for the, um, let's see here. 
What happens if her brothers join in and they cause mischief? There's so many possibilities to this. But, of course, Disney would probably screw it up. But another possibility is Rufus. See, what happens if Kim and Ron do start a family and Rufus wasn't around anymore? And they miss Rufus. So they could get him back. I know it's beaten around the bush or something stupid, but, you know, honestly, Rufus is such a love character. Add something in there to add some flavor to it. So, that's pretty much all I can say for this. So, those are my opinions on how this show could keep going. So, right, guys, this is Zimmy and Basis. I talked and or ranted about Kim Possible, and I hope you all have a good day or night when you are watching this. Thanks.